Hello, my name's Nick and welcome to that British homestead. Today I'm going to show you a bit of a tour of the allotment. Let's get started. Mm, box by your side. Okay, so today we've got to pay for some shit and this is for the allotment. So it's looking, so we've got our onions and our garlic there. Um, we've got a load of pak choy there, more garlic. Um, and we've got some kohlrabi that's been absolutely mullered by the rabbits. Um, and some cabbage. We have got some more cabbages here that have been absolutely mullered once again by the lovely rabbits. I've sorted the rabbit problem though, I think, anyway. So I've never had to deal with rabbits before, so if you've got any advice, let us know. These are all of the onions. Apparently, rabbits don't really like onions, which is good. So, some more purple pak choy. Once again, not really that fond of rabbits, which is good. The Swede is doing so well that I'm going to name this the Swede Jungle. I've started putting some duck bed in as per over the onion bed. Well, I should say shallots to suppress some of these weeds that I'm getting. Quite a lot of weeds, and they do a bit of weeding. So when they ripen, berry egg as they're called, then I'm going to harvest them and grow some more. Jasmine's little gardening plot is doing really well. She's finished all the duck bedding around the outside. She's got a bit of weeding to do, so when she comes down next, she'll be doing that. And her strawberry plants, including the runners that she's put in, looking really quite great. So good for her. Um, she's got this random piece of grass that she likes to feed turkeys she needs to keep. You can see that she needs to do a bit of weed control. I judge, but in reality, mine's not that much better. Oh, we've got some some uh, damage to the poppy from the, the rabbits there as well. I'll show you what I've done for the rabbits. I think the rabbits have been getting through this doorway here. So I've put this metal screen in front of them. So hopefully they'll uh, leave me alone. A little look at the herb bed. So the herbs are actually going to seed, which is lovely because we can do with some seed. That's the sage there. Once again, it's a bit of weeding in here, which I need to get round to doing. Um, get that out whilst it's about to go to seed. So that's what you don't want is the seed heads in there. So yeah, this is basil still going well. More basil. This is a uh, tarragon, which is doing nicely. Um, and the chives are really settling in, and the rosemary started to flower. So I'm going to leave that for the bees. So hopefully it will establish itself over the winter. It's looking, it's smelling quite fantastic. And here we have the greenhouse. Um, the problem with the greenhouse really is that I have some sort of vole or something that lives in here, which can be quite annoying. Um, but apart from that, the carrots are really going well, the beetroot is really going well. There is some empty spaces, I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm going to come in and just sow again there. Oh, looking rather good. Of course, I've only got this side of the, the um, allotment left to sort of clear out. And of course that allotment's not worth it's that we've just got that one so we're gonna finish that off and we burn up. But it's looking quite good. I'm probably gonna turn that area over there into like a, a wheelbarrow round turn. And the turkeys are settling in really well. They're actually massive now. Um I'll play a clip that I've just taken of them. That's it's huge and they're settling in really well. Haven't worked out their automatic feeder though. So we come down twice. Well, we stay here for a few hours as well, but we come down first thing in the morning um, and open up their little feeder there by putting a brick on it. Automatic, my bum. So just like that. There you go, put a brick on it. They've knocked it a little bit. And then we come back down and take that off at night time so that they're the mice don't eat them. Everything. We've put wood chip in there as well. 
um, which they can scatter around a little bit and uh, to cover up their poops. And then we really need to get a veggie feeder, but that will be gone in about 20 minutes. Yeah, aren't they massive now? They're still very nervous of us. So, yeah. Um, over there you can see that we've fed them a big head of sunflower seeds. Um, and they're still preferring to roost outside than they are inside. So, as I say, as they sit down. But they are settling in, they are getting a bit more used to us. So I could literally watch them for hours. So, alright. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.